All right, so just um, in case you're wondering about metering blocks for Holly, okay? These are not plugs. These are emulsifiers. What's an emulsifier? Basically, it uses the air bleed and there's an emulsion tube that's perforated. Some of them are perforated and and actually, uh, some are not. Uh, 4,500 models, it's not an emulsifier tube. Uh, it's just a feed. So, <clears throat> these, when you take these out, or when you have a metering block that's, that's giving you a hard time, or you see a bunch of corrosion on here, the best thing you can do is drill these and tap them for a fine threaded screw. Don't, don't drill past an eighth, okay? You just want to get a few threads in there. And then <clears throat> what you want to do is you heat this up. You, you just, you don't have to heat it up very hot, okay? 150 degrees will, will get you where you want to be. And that'll, that, this, this insert right here will just pull right out. Um, and some uh, trivia here. Holly has these casted in Japan. Just some trivia. Um, even the old stuff, like old. Um, so, yeah, that, that's an emulsifier tube. And sometimes what you'll see is you'll see a double, a double freeze plug. These ones, there's nothing in there. Nothing there. It's just a drilled well. And that's because these have different size sizings for the hole. Okay. <clears throat> you really don't you really don't need more than three, okay? You, you really don't. Those plates, those metering blocks with the five, four, you don't need them. You really don't. Um, if if it gets to that point, you're, where, you're working way too hard for minimal gains or minimal economy. So... That being said, JB, what you need to do is you need to pull those, pull these plugs, okay? Don't be afraid to pull them. And if you want me to pull them for you, just send them here and I'll drill it and I'll, I think I got emulsion, uh, emulsion tubes. So, um, all right, this is a Holly uh, metering block. And we're going to take out the emulsifier tube. Just get a drill bit. <clears throat> really don't need to center punch it. Drill it out, get yourself a little screw there, just something that's comparable to the drill you used, give it a good twist, and there you go, kapow! Look at that. Now this one, of course, is damaged. And, <clears throat> and that's because... Let's see. This goes back to what I'm saying. The lazy work twice as hard. I was lazy. I thought I could do this. 
and that that's why I experiment everything on this block. This block is ruined. I mean, it's not really ruined, but I mean, the tap is stuck in it. I mean, I could easily get this out. I can clean it up. I can do whatever I want. It's still fixable, but when you try and short you're, you know, you, you try and take shortcuts here. It doesn't work. All right, here's some small drills, okay? The smallest one I've got is 0138. Or 0135, I'm sorry. Now, you can make these yourself, okay? You clog it at the end. Measure from here, wherever that orifice is. And get yourself a set of these small drills. And this one is and be careful when you mess with these drills okay they'll they'll go into your skin you won't even know it that's a um that's o24 see what o25 is o25 right there o25 drill okay supplies air into the main well so a couple of points you got corrosion pull those out clean them it's a simple emulsifier tube easy you can make these not hard to do. Now, when dealing with a carburetor or main, uh, metering block that has plugs, like freestyle plugs, Let's see if I can do this before I run out of. Uh, Um, before I ra run out of space for pictures. Let me get a pick for that. There you go. If you got freeze style plugs, there is no emulsifier tube. Hope that helps, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay.